it looks pretty good. Let me see if it smells good. Damn, I think I need to hit the gym more. Ugh. Open it. What's up guys and welcome back. As you know, I think about a week ago, I asked you guys to give us suggestions on what you would like to see on our channel because we missed doing videos for you guys. So we wanted to like bring it back and get straight into it. So today's video is really fun. One of these suggestions were make your favorite meal. But this is gonna be a little different. We have a bunch of favorite meals which I will be recording very, very soon. But today we wanted to try something different that we never had before um, and kind of just go through that experience together. So today we're making spaghetti squash. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I don't know how it's gonna taste. We heard great things about it. Nate actually saw this recipe online and wanted to make it. So today we went to Whole Foods and we got all the ingredients and we're gonna walk you through it. And I'm gonna have Nate come in and tell you all the health benefits of squash and the reason why he decided to pick this recipe. Because you know, we're gonna let the boys shine just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, in the meantime, while he showers, because he just worked out and I, I walked with the dogs earlier today, I did my daily walk with them. Um, I'm going to preheat, that was blue right there, they just plopped down. I'm going to preheat the oven so that we can get started. All right, so we're gonna hit bake because we're gonna bake this bad boy and the oven usually already preheats to about 350, but okay, oven, calm it down. I'm about to press you. <laughs> Let's preheat to 400 and then the oven will let me know when it's ready. It'll do a beeping sound. And then while that's being preheated, we are going to cut up the squash and prep it. So Nate is out the shower and now he's going to tell you why he picked this recipe and all the benefits of it. Yeah, so the main reason why we picked this recipe is because it's gonna be very low carb. Now, in today's society in 2021, we eat a lot of carbohydrates since 1976. We've seen obesity go up, diabetes, prediabetes, and all that. So for those that don't know, I do have prediabetes issues. So I would love some spaghetti, but I can't have spaghetti without having some blood, um, you know, blood sugar handling problems and weight gain. I'll gain like four pounds overnight. So I got this idea offline where you can take this you can bake this and when you cut it in half, basically half of it is 15 grams of carbohydrate. So we should be able to each have a serving and that whole serving only comes out to 15 grams of carbohydrate. A regular serving of pasta can come out to 50 grams of carbohydrate, 50 to 65 for one serving. And for most of us, we do not have one serving. We usually have two to three servings of that, which will give you 100 to 150 grams of carbohydrate. So this is gonna be a very low carb diet, I mean um, meal, and it's gonna be very high protein. So Rhea and I do work out, so we're looking to increase our protein in our diet so besides just eating ground turkey with, with vegetables we're gonna eat ground turkey we're gonna mix it with some organic tomato sauce and it's gonna make mm. it feel like we have some spaghetti so as you guys know the thing that you will need for this recipe is the spaghetti squash we got this from Whole Foods the next thing you're gonna want is this tomato sauce this is the sauce that they got um, he looked through all of them and this is the best one so far we don't know how it tastes but we're gonna taste it once this is done. It looks pretty good. Let me see if it smells good. It smells good. Mmm, it smells good. Ooh, that smells Ooh, so good. It's, it smells good and it smells Ooh, fresh. It smells so good. Ooh. Okay, and the next thing you're gonna need for this recipe is we're gonna have some ground turkey. So we got some lean ground turkey because we're gonna cook the ground turkey in some coconut oil. And a coconut oil already has fat in it. So we didn't want to take a fatty ground turkey with the coconut oil and put that would be too much fat in a caloric deficit which mm -hmm. we're aiming for and trying to just get mad protein we'll rather just have a leaner cut of meat so we have all around organic ground turkey that's 98 percent lean now we usually do go for the fattier type mm -hmm. but on the next couple weeks we're gonna just lower our fats a little bit lower our carbs increase our protein for aesthetics you know to get lean and and chisel. It's very important for us to get organic in because a lot of people are eating conventional meat that's not organic and they're sick animals. And when you eat a sick animal, you get bad reactions in the body. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a whole different uh, rabbit hole to go down. But we do stick to organic meats and organic food. Now, this is what we're gonna use for a seasoning. We have coconut oil, of course, USDA organic. Look for that stamp anytime you're buying organic. We have these Kinder's seasoning blend. It has salt pepper and garlic it's so bomb 
and then of course our sea salt this is one of the best sea salts all right you guys so <laughs> i'm just gonna start this little process but obviously i think it'll be very beneficial to have me cut this because i think it's strong enough i i believe i'm strong enough but i don't want to like you know take too much energy yeah and, um, gotcha all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have it here so the first step you want to do is cut it the long way. I'm gonna watch my fingers too. Mm -hmm. I love my fingers, especially my thumb. <laughs> you ever try to live life without a thumb? <laughs> no. Ooh, I try to try to go about your day without a thumb. <laughs> Everything's okay, sweetheart. <laughs> Everything's okay. Bluey is the protector of the house, but she will come before Milo. Milo just kind of follows up once he knows everything is, is okay. Zoom out. Hey. Hey, babies. Can you sit? Good girl, Milo. Sit. Good boy, Milo. You know, they sat really quick because, for one, they're trained, but also located the guy I treat them, but I don't. <laughs> okay, so the squash is finito, but cut in half. So this is what your squash will look like in the inside. It has all these little like seeds and this little string. You're gonna wanna scoop that out. So let's get a scoop. This is like a peeler or something, but let me see. This tool works Ooh. perfect. I don't know what this tool is called, but you know what? It's really what it needs to do. So what we did was we got our sheet pan, which is right here, and I just lined it with aluminum foil. Then we're gonna put these, not facing like this, we're actually gonna flip them this way because online the recipe said it cooks better that way, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow the recipe. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, the recipe said to face it down. For real? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna face it down, or maybe because when you face it downward, it creates like a dome. And I guess all the heat gets trapped in there and makes it the inside really, really soft. That's what I'm guessing, but don't quote me on that. So we're gonna pop this into the oven for- We're gonna season it first. Right, we're gonna season it, and then when we season it, we're gonna pop it into the oven for- 40 minutes. For 40 minutes. And then while that's being cooked, we're gonna show you our turkey. Let's see what we're doing. I'm gonna just try to do- Oh, okay, okay. A little bit of that. See, see that little bit that I put in there was already like six grams. Hardly anything. You, you, you don't think you're putting a lot on it, but you are. Boom, you wanna kind of do it for both. Yeah. It don't have to be perfect. <laughs> about like 20 minutes left we're gonna come in here back in the kitchen and then we're gonna do the turkey because the turkey gets done extremely fast so we don't want it just to be sitting there getting cold so see you in 20 minutes it's been 20 minutes now it's time for us to do our turkey we're gonna measure our coconut oil so so 15 milliliters we're going to milliliters just to be accurate is 120 calories time for the meat So the turkey is in. Now it's time to season it. Season it, baby. The best part. We don't measure the seasoning. You just kind of go as you. The zero calories. To your liking, yeah. Zero calories in the seasoning, so no need. And you can add whatever you want to this. However you cook your meats. We like to keep it a little simple, but still have like a little kick to it. Chop it up, chop it up. This will probably take like eight to 10 minutes. Yeah. And we have about uh, 14 minutes left for our spaghetti to come out. Yeah. 
So we're excited, we're starving. I'm starving, I just got finished working out. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Like I'm just starving right now. He's hungry. He's starving like Marvin. Um, I see. Who was Marvin and why was he starving? That's the <laughs> question I always ask. When there's like three minutes left on the spaghetti squash, we're gonna heat some sauce up. And we, we will measure this as well. We're gonna measure all our food because we're gonna put it into our Lose It app because our goal is to lean up by June, okay? So we're in, uh, what, March right now? So we got like three, four months to really get lean, um, to lean up for yeah. the summertime, so. So the spaghetti squash is done, ground turkey is done. Remember, the goal behind having this is not having regular spaghetti. We're making a healthy version of spaghetti right now. So True. that's it. And <laughs> So I went to Home Goods, right? And I had to buy some mittens for the oven. So I got this, it was in a pack, legit in a pack like this. And I just grabbed it and, and went about my day. Like a week after I decided to use them and realized that it's the same pan. If I was there, that would have never happened. Uh uh, no. You was there actually. He was it would have happened if I was there. All right, you so that's it. You would have picked these out actually. All right. Then. Woo! Ha! Ha! Take this bad one, bad and my jamma out. Okay, so we're gonna put them over here. Let's just see what happens. Remember y'all, this is our first time doing this recipe. Oh, I was able to pinch it, which was good. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Oh, my. But look, See how it's, it's like breaking apart? Soft. Yeah. So now, once this comes out the oven, you're gonna wanna rake it like this because then you'll start creating, as you can see, it looks like spaghetti already. Look, I'll just pick it up so you guys can see. Yeah, that looks good. It looks good. All right, so we're gonna rake these and then we'll get right back to you. This is like 24 ounces of squash. Heavy, this plate is heavy right now. This is only 25 grams of carbs. This much spaghetti will probably be 300 to 400 grams of carbs. And this is only like 100 calories. So I'm very excited to put the sauce on and put the meat to it, but I just want to show you how much squash you get, spaghetti squash you get, um, and how low calorie and how low carbohydrate. So I'm excited. All right, so now we're gonna measure the sauce on top of this. Yo, this is rocking even without the sauce. I can't mm -hmm. wait to have some of that on here. This is the final product. Now we're gonna talk about the taste test once Nate is done with this. All right, on a scale of one to 10, this is a 10. It's it so is good. so good and it's so easy to make. The 40 minutes went by so fast. I felt like I'm eating real spaghetti, so yeah. I'm excited. Knowing that I'm not gonna have like a sugar crash after this is like the best feeling in the world, so. And also that you're getting closer to your goal, whatever your goal is, but still eating something that's just as hefty. Like, this is not even the full one. They got the full squash. I got half of the squash, and then there's still squash left, left over. over in here. So, so if you look at Ree's um, serving, she has about like 30 grams of, she has about 30 grams of protein, 15 grams of carbohydrates. With the sauce, is gonna bring the carbohydrates about 20 grams. Mm -hmm. So her serving, this food right here is about 300, 350 calories, if that. Now I took two servings of everything, because I'm a very good guy, of course. So I'm about 500 calories, but with the 500 calories, it's only 25 grams of carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. I got about 50 grams of protein and about like four grams of fat, five grams of fat. So this leaves me with a lot of room with calories later, but mm -hmm. it also is gonna be very fulfilling because of the fiber and protein. Yeah. So, we're gonna enjoy this so. food. We hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the first time we tried this, and we're really excited, because usually we will have like ground turkey with like avocado. You it know? would be something so simple, so basic, and sometimes it could get boring, so you kinda wanna like spice it up so you, that your diet doesn't become like a job or a boring job to do. You keep it like spicy, it's fun, and you get creative, and yeah. it was something we did together, and I think it's fun to do something together with your loved one. So 100%. try it out and let me know if you guys did try it out. Let me know how it tastes and comment, comment below. Comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Love Across yeah. the Hudson for more videos. Bye. See you later. Peace. Peace.